what is going on today guys welcome back to the channel my name is jared here's some more ultimate golf sponsored by mini clip and ultimate golf so today we're going to play the semi-final round of the sea breeze challenge tournament wanted to get on here and share nine holes of a complete playthrough for you guys here you've been asking for it in the comments so we're going to play through nine holes just give you an idea of how i've been playing each and every one of these holes hopefully get a couple of drops and you'll see here that I actually do make a mess up on hole number eight. Then I completely forgot to record my shot on hole number eight, but we got really close. So you didn't miss anything super spectacular. So you're going to get the rest of the round all in this video. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, stick around for more content and let's get right into it. Here we go. Hole one. So first thing that we want to do always on these par fours is see if we can reach that minimum distance that we can get into that no adjust hive range or that no adjust atlas range and here we can't no chance no chance we're going to get it up there close enough to that green we're going to be left with it somewhere right in here and it's going to be just a terrible wedge shot from there so we're going to back up and we're going to measure out where our maximum distance bigfoot is going to leave us and if you haven't done this yet just throw the left side of your screen on your avatar right in the middle and then see there's how far max distance bigfoot is so you can see in my screen it's right underneath the four of the par four up at the top of the screen so that's where i want to lay myself up on my second shot so here you can see i'm going to go ahead and put the pin now on right underneath the par four up at the top of the screen and now i want to aim my target right there on the left side of the screen so i know if i end up right there in the middle of my adjustment arrow i'm going to be right at maximum distance bigfoot now i don't want to be at total max bigfoot i want to be a little bit farther up just to leave myself a little bit of room for headwind on the second shot should be good right here so we get our ultimate shot and we'll see where this ends up if we did everything right we should be fine so let me know in a comment down below if you guys are using this method or are you still just blasting it up into that specter range into that hive range so here did a pretty good job about five rings back from max so if i had a straight headwind here i'd still be perfectly fine to make my adjustments on five six about seven eight rings seven rings from max and now i've got a straight side wind here so i don't like these straight side wind shots they're a little bit difficult and so here i'm looking at my ball guide coming off of the max backspin and you can see i've got a little bit of left curl so i'm going to correct that and make it going straight at the pin i straighten it up a little bit and i take some time here guys i take a lot of time to really line up my shot moving straight at the pin you see i still got it a little bit left of the pin here now the wind is going to bring it back but i want it to be straight i actually went a little too far there so we've got it nice and straight now wind side wind is going to bring it back just a little bit so i'm going to offset a tad to the left here not that much right around there let's see and i'm seven rings from max and again you got to find your own calculations here if you're using the guide for ultimate golf it does a really good job of giving you those close numbers but you may have to tweak them from time to time because they're not always exact and then every shot whether you're pulling uphill downhill is going to have those different types of of adjustments sometimes you have to over adjust and that's why playing these holes over and over again is going to help you out a lot there i accidentally tapped the tape take shot button i didn't want to do that so here I feel like that's going to come up just short. Here I've got a little bit of a headwind, so... That looks long. And again, I just take my time. Take my time. Get it lined up. Okay, so 4.2. I'm going to adjust right at three rings here right at three rings and let's see how this comes in it 
it's gonna be close i know when i'm taking my shot here i know i'm going to be close whether or not i can get it just perfect if i'm off a couple of centimeters either way looks good we got it let's go let's go yes cut the first one on to hole two here once again par four we want to look can we reach and get it up there into that max hot or into that no adjust hive range here i've got a 15 mile an hour tailwind but i'm still even if i hit the shot right now i'm going to be way short of the green i'm going to be up there into max hive atlas even into specter range we don't want that we don't want it at all so here we're just going to stay with our trophy ball and again i know every single time i'm looking underneath the par four underneath the four of the par four and i'm looking at the left side of my screen so if i go right in the middle of my circle i'm gonna be at max bigfoot range i lay it up right there got about a three in wind here so we're gonna go about three rings back want a little bit of room for the tail for the headwind on the second shot so always keep that in mind second shot you could end up with tail uh, with that headwind and you got to adjust and you don't want to be adjusting into overpower like we might be here so let's take a look see if we gave ourselves any room whatsoever we did so we gave ourselves about three rings here so now even with the headwind we're going to be in good shape so let's count our rings back right off the bat first thing i do there were about five rings from max good and now we're going to look at the ball guide okay coming off of that first bounce see how it's taking a kick to the right we want to straighten that up right off the bat Kind of push it forward and back get a good good idea of what the green is doing here right at the pin it goes a little bit back to the left so i think we're good here we're going to throw the max backspin on see what the bounce gives us and i'm looking left right i'm looking behind it i want that one and a half ring arc I want that one and a half ring arc so i'm going to take a little bit of the backspin off and i like it see we've got about from that bounce to the next bounce we've got about a ring and a half just bear with the ball guide disappearing every now and then it's gonna get fixed and so here with the with the headwind keep saying tailwind with the headwind i'm just going just before the cup on that last bounce so obviously in a no wind situation that's going way past but with the wind coming in, it's gonna knock it down just enough. So I like the roll out there. Let's take a look at how our ball guide looks. So here, look, it's got a little bit of a right turn to it. Don't want the right turn. You wanna take it off. Now we're straight. Now we're straight. So now what's it gonna do when the wind affects it, when it rolls back to the right, We've got it just offset so now it's going to bounce right before the pin should get a nice little right turn kick to it and we should be really close i mean really close so let's see we've got a 3.8 wind and again get your calculations from the guide work out what you're looking at 3.8 we're going to adjust about two and three quarters of a ring. Two and three quarters of a ring here. And I like the way that comes in. I like the way that looks. Got it just offset because of the, t the headwind coming in from left to right. Going to knock it down. It's going to push it to the right. We're going to adjust about two and three quarters of a ring. That wind arrow nice and straight, looking two and three quarters. Here we go. It's gonna be close. I know it's gonna be close. And we get it to drop. Great shot, we're using a trophy ball. Great shot might help us. And we didn't go enough. We needed a little more. A little more 893 it's so close so close 
All right, we're on hole three. Another par four. Once again, can we reach the green? No, we can't. And so it's just rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. We're getting the pin right underneath the flag at the four and par four up at the top of the screen. And now we're setting our circle right in the middle of the left half of our screen. Max backspin on the fusion. We know where it goes. We're good there. We're going to be at max. I don't want to be at total max. I want to push up just a little bit. Move it over for the wind. Get it in play. We'll see how that comes in. Okay, here we've got Tailwind. Let's see where we would have been in Headwind. So if we were in Headwind, we'd still have a couple of rings to be able to adjust into, into Headwind. But here we've got Tailwind. So now, once again, I'm counting rings back. About two rings there. Maybe three. They're right there. And what's this ball guy doing? It's bouncing to the left. So get it straight. Now Max back. Now on this one, our ball guide almost disappears, so it takes a very soft bounce. Very soft bounce. So again, I want that ring and a half arc. So there, I took off about three rings of backspin because I want that arc. I want that arc to look the same every single time. I'm going to add a little bit more of the backspin just because of the tailwind coming in. Now we're going to get it lined up. We're going to get in there really close. Take a good look. Trying to keep everything right in the center of my screen. Looks good. Okay, I've maybe got a little tick of left curl going on here. I'm going to straighten it up. Good. Good, okay. I may come back. Everything's telling me this is going to go long. A little high bounce there. Looks good. It's just processing. It's just playing, the, playing these holes over and over again. How are they going to react? What's it going to do? Everything's telling me. Last second, I thought maybe that's going to go short. So let's not leave it short. That's one of the things I hate doing in this game is leaving it short. Nothing else. Let's blow it past the pin. Let's just blow it past the pin. Make sure we're not short. Because when that thing comes up just short of the hole, it's not fun. It's not fun. 3.7. Here we're pulling downhill also. So that's going to affect our shot as we pull this direction. Let me push up just a little bit more because as we pull downhill, it's actually going to land back farther than what we planned for it to do. If nothing else, I'm hoping this goes long. I'm hoping it goes long. So 2.6 is what I'm going to adjust here. A little over two and a half rings. 2.6. We're going to go right in there make our adjust let's see if we can make this one nothing else I'm hoping it goes long ultimate shot we're close oh it hit the pin I said it was gonna go long and I didn't trust myself said it was gonna go long and it went a little bit long Good birdie. Huge tiebreaker. We hit the pin. We're so close. Let's take a look at this one now. We've got a par four. And this one is interesting because we get we had a little bit of a tailwind. And where this one is going to end up is either really close to that bunker or just short of it. I believe it's going to be just short of the bunker. But it's going to leave me a pretty good look at a at a chip. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and send it up here and see if it gives us a good look at a chip. 
I could use a ball with a little bit. Let's see, do we have a ball with a little bit more wind to it? No, because if we end up short, I don't want, I don't want too much wind. So let's send it up here and see what it looks like. Just send it up there. Go ball, go. I hope it goes in the sand. But I think it's going to be just short. It is. Okay, we're just short of the sand. And honestly, this may not be the best look here at Eagle. 3.5. The reason I do have Atlas in is because of the ball guide. The ball guide's a little bit better on my Atlas than it is on my hive right now so let's see are we in that no adjust range i almost know i'm not i'm so close to it though so close so we're gonna have to move this three and a half in wind I went about five clicks there. This is where just skill and eyeball comes into play. I think this is going to be a little bit too much. We'll give it a try. I think he's going to miss right. Oh, we went a little too much. A little too much. Oh, well. That's the, that's the risk. And that's exactly right there why we don't want those longer wedge shots. It's just a little too much. One or two clicks was enough there. It was close. It was close. Let's go to the next. I par three. Par three. Now this is interesting because here we're at max Bigfoot and we've got the headwind. So we can't adjust up here or else we're going to be adjusting into overpower. So now that we get to change our clubs in the middle of the round, let's take a look at what lightning rod looks like. So lightning rod, we can adjust way up here. Fantastic. Even better. So now we're actually like 20 rings back from Max with the lightning rod. We've only got three back with it, so we really got to take a good look here what this is going to do. It's got a decent ball guide, and it's a pretty straight rollout here. So Headwind's going to knock this down. Okay, again, lower level clubs. I've only got a level five lightning rod right now, which is not the best. As we get that level six or level seven, we're definitely going to be using lightning rod a lot more often. Let's take a look at what we get. I'm going to be going about nine and a half rings here with the lightning rod. Again, let me look at the side view. Doesn't look bad there. Trying to judge the rollout. see what this does as we go closer to the pin I mean it's just dead straight not a lot of break in this green at all so if we get the speed right and we get the adjustment right we should go in I 
All right, we're gonna go about nine and a half rings here. We'll just see how close we come. This is a huge extra. In my eye, if we drop this one, it's just a big extra. Big extra. We're off a tick, we're off a tick. Get them all. It's going to be close, guys. Go! Oh, my goodness. We just left it short. Right on the money, we left it short, though. Good hole. Like I said, if we drop that one, that's a huge extra. Oh, well, on to the next. Let's go. All right, par five. Pretty long par five here now. So all we can do on this one is go as far as we can. Straight headwind. Blast it up there as far as we can go. As far as we can go. Go ball, go. Still going to leave us a really long second shot. And our only hope is get to the green. On the second shot, get us a tiebreaker. Go on to the next. Okay, watch out for these trees. Ooh. Trees are not good. Max side spin. Max overpower. We've got the wind blowing in from left to right. That's going to look pretty good. Our L cap here. Again, this is just feel and eyeball at this point. What's it going to do? I am going to add a little bit of curl and not full overpower. A little bit of curl, not there's full overpower, a little bit of curl going to come off the overpower just a little bit. And let's get on the green. Get up there. Nice. Get in the hole. Oh, it was so close. Good. Good. Tough par five. Good eagle. Take that all day, every day on that hole. Good. Let's go. Okay, par four. We had tailwind. We might could just go ahead and go for it here. Maybe. But we don't have tailwind. We've got headwind. So we're going to lay up again. Let's find our max Bigfoot range. Right there and right there. Could switch to Bigfoot and just go ahead and get the backspin on it. But we're good right there. We just want to lay up into this area. And get us a max Bigfoot on the next shot. we go looks good might have some trees in the way here I'm gonna take the lightning rod out we're gonna put Bigfoot back in we're gonna see what it looks like good plenty of room perfect drive here we're gonna back off Back off. See how we're going to the right a little bit on the first bounce. And get that off of there. Back to the left. Throw Max back on it. Now let's get that ring and a half arc on it. Get out of the way, tree. Tree doesn't want to let us zoom in, does it? Okay. That was a little too much. Not enough right in there okay perfect so that's what we want it is tailwind so our ball guide's gonna expand just a little bit i've got a little bit of right curl still on it nice and straight good solid three rings from max 
Do I still see a little right curl on it? I do. I see a little right curl on it. It's straight. Okay, good. Not do that shot. That was a bad miss. We're going to be a lot closer than that. Here we go. All right, three rings from Max. 3.8 in wind. We're going to go back again. Two, two and three quarter ring here. About two and three quarters of a ring. And we're pulling downhill. We're pulling downhill. So I got to really take a look at that. We're pulling just slightly downhill. So what I want to do. I'm going to aim it about there. And let's see if I miss left, it's my fault. Two and three quarters of a ring. Let's make one. Let's make one. Come on. Yeah, the hole. One time. It's going to be close. Did we get it? Yeah, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Nah, here's an error on hole eight. We forgot to hit the record button. But we came up just short on hole eight. Just short with the Bigfoot on hole eight. So my fault, we completely forgot to hit the record button on hole eight. There we go. We got the birdie anyway. We had a big foot shot. We just under adjusted it just a little bit and we missed all eight. So let's go to nine and I'll make sure we hit the record button from now on. All right, so here we are on all nine. Again, par four. Nice tailwind, but no way that we'd ever drive the hole on this one. And so we're just going to lay up again into that Bigfoot range. Finding my spot right underneath the par four and the flag. Finding the ball guide. Going to bring the top spin off. So right there at the end of the ball guide is where we want to end up. End of the ball guide is where we want to end up. We're going to pull back just a little bit because it's going to roll out. Then make a wind adjustment and take our shot. Here we go. Let's see if we can drop hole nine here. That'd be a lot of fun. A little bit of a cross tailwind. This one's going to be tough. There's our Max Bigfoot. We had plenty of room to adjust if it was straight headwind. Good. Five rings for Max there. All right, let's see what this does to us. Throw on the Max backspin. Again, trying to get that ring and a half of arc. Good. Take a look at the ball guide. Bouncing hard to the right here. I'm going to put a little bit of left on it. Not much. A little bit of left. That was probably too much. There we go. Looks pretty straight. Got some tailwind. Gonna bounce out towards the hole. I'm happy with it, actually. Let's see, 3.8, 3.8. Got two and three quarters of a ring again. I'm going to give it right side here. 
I'm gonna give it right side. No, I want to give it left side. Just don't like the way this is gonna roll out. Just gonna give it just left side of the pin. Two and three quarters. Let's get a drop here. This is a tough shot. I have not had a lot of success with these type of shots in the crosswind. These have been my Achilles heel. Let's get one in here. In the hole. It's going to miss right. Oh, it's close. We got it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Good round. Good round. Nice round. Minus 13. We got the drop on one. Then we went cold for a little bit. Finally got another one on seven. Just missed on eight. Sorry that you missed that one. Really close on eight. And then we got the drop on nine. Awesome round. Awesome round. We'll take it. Let's go. So there you go, guys. Just an awesome round right there. Total apologies about hole number eight. We just completely forgot to hit the record button. Got super close to making that shot anyway. But you got to look at how I played all the rest of the round. Got a couple of drops in there. Ended up in first place for this round with minus 13. I'm sure that won't hold up. It'll probably get passed up. But just an awesome round. Gives you an idea of how I've been playing these holes. Trying to get the drops on the par fours. Trying to get close on the par fives. Close as we can. And the par threes are tricky. So don't give up on it. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, stick around for more content. We will see you guys out on the course.